So most homeowners, if they see a picture like this that would show them a huge amount of heat leaking out of their house would uh, have a huge issue with this. It, it would drive a lot of people mad just for the fact that they're losing this much heat uh, in the middle of the winter. It's about 17 degrees in my house. Unless they walk up to it and see another picture and it's basically the drier exhausting hot air. So all of a sudden now it's acceptable. So as I was kind of doing some energy audits in my house, I realized I can trap this energy and keep it in my house in the winter and save some money. So the next screenshot is a screenshot from my home energy monitoring system that shows you how much energy that my dryer used over the last year from roughly January to February. So what if during the cold months, these seven months here, I could recoup all that heat that I'm losing. It's about $32 worth of heat. So the next part, I'll show you exactly how I do that. Here's another good way to uh, save energy. You can uh, buy one of these I got off of Amazon. And what this does is it allows you to take your, your dryer heat, which you basically exhaust outside of the, uh, the dryer and you're heating hot air and then putting it out in the outside world. It's kind of a waste. Um, this allows you to vent it inside. So what it basically is, it's, uh, it's attached to your dryer hose. Uh, so the input goes there and then the exhaust comes out here and there's a little lint trap here and so um, in the winter you can have this flap open so it prevents it from coming out the top and it comes out in the house and in the summer you can close it and the uh, exhaust uh, moist damp air will go out into the um, outside world. So I've had one of these before. Um, they're about nine bucks. They last, I don't know, six, seven years. Um, average quality, but again, they make the cost up in, in savings for heat. Okay, so basically the deflector uh, goes between your dryer outlet to the outside world and you kind of cut it and place it right in there. So here's another thing I recommend. Get a damper in here. You can feel, if this isn't closed, you can feel the cold air just basically rushing in. Um, the louvered outside vents really don't do anything. Um, they just basically stop insects from coming in. But you want something that's completely sealed, which this is. And so I kind of discovered this as my basement was getting colder and colder and colder. Um, I knew there was air leaking in and I completely neglected the, the dryer vent because you kind of usually associate it with it being an output out to the outside world. But that means the cold air can come in too. So you can really at least feel it here. Here's what it looks like installed. I had to make a little adapter thing here to be able to get this pipe into to here. But uh, anyway, so here, this is what it looks like installed. Goes all the way down the dryer. And we got a full load in here. So now I'll run it. You can definitely feel the, feel the air that's coming out. Okay, we'll come back and see what's like warmed up. Okay, here's a shot with the thermal imager. It's about uh, five minutes into the cycle, so it's about 102 degrees. Uh, normally it'll jump up to uh, 115 or 120. So if you pan over in the dryer room, um, it's about 65-ish on the insulation. It's about 15, uh, between 15 and 17 degrees outside, but this thing's definitely pumping uh, hot air into that room. I also have that room exhausted to another room so I can kind of distribute the humidity. I don't want too much humidity in that room. Too much humidity isn't good, so if you have a really small confined space and you can't get rid of the humidity, this probably isn't good. But for winter use, if you've got a big downstairs basement, it's perfect because then it adds uh, humidity to the house and keeps the... Uh, static electricity down so you don't shock stuff when you're you know walking across the room. So this is a graph of the laundry room which is right next to an adjacent room that's about uh, 15 by 12 feet 
and over the last two days we've been doing laundry and you can see the room is normally 55 degrees when it's about 17 outside and it can raise above 65 depending on how long the uh, dryer is on. So it really does raise the temperature of the room and adds uh, humidity to the house. So if you really have a really small laundry room, this probably isn't good unless you can take the humidity and disperse it. But in my house, I've got some fans running, so it disperses the humidity just fine and keeps the uh, basement warmer and basically reclaims all that heat. Again, this is not meant for a gas dryer. It's only meant for an electric dryer. So in the summer, you want to vent all that hot, humid, moist air out to the outside world so it doesn't uh, drive up your cooling costs. Alright, so there's another money saver for you. Hope you guys like it, and please like and subscribe to my channel.